Kodi and they want to install iStream. Um, now it's not something that I personally use myself. Uh, you know, everyone has their own preference on add-ons. It's um, I just find it installs a few too many dependencies and uses too many re resources for my liking. Um, but I know it's very popular, so here we go. Um, the easiest way to install it um, is add a source. Go to http colon slash slash i dot total xbmc dot tv, and we just call that dot total xbmc. Click OK. We need to add another source, and this one is going to be the Xfinity source. So http colon slash slash xfinity dot zunity talk dot com, and we call that Xfinity. So click on OK. Now the problem people have been having is, um, you know, it can cause all sorts of issues with your device if it's not set up properly. Um, you can end up getting crashes, um, it, you know, there's been problems with it, um, force closing XBMC after just a few seconds, so here's what I would do. <laughs> um, go to system, go to add-ons, install from zip, and total XBMC, and repository total installer. Now this is going to install the total installer repository. We also want Xfinity and Zunity Talk repository. Um, and we're also going to need Xfinity and Crash Fix. You'll notice that iStream installer is an option. I would not go for that. Um, I would not use iStream installer personally because it may well well, almost certainly will install skins that may not be uh, compatible with your build, which could cause further issues down the line. So, um, yeah, I would not use the iStream installer. Um, using the repository is fine, but uh, the installer, I'd steer clear of that. But uh, we do need the crash fix. Okay, so we'll install that now before we install the add-on, because we have to physically run the crash fix after we've installed it. Uh, just because um, it, it can force close XBMC, it can make it crash, um, you know, after just seconds on some devices. It does seem to vary from device to device. Sometimes you might get a few minutes before a crash, um, and other times just seconds. But if we've got it on there, it gives us more chance to run it. Um, so now get add-ons, total revolution, program add-ons, total installer. So that's going to install the total installer where you can install any add-on you like and now we've got that I'm going to go to programs total installer search for add-ons manual search and iStream and you see you've got all your iStream related things in here so what we want is iStream, so install iStream, yes, so it's just going to install um, any dependencies that are needed, Now the dependencies it's um, installing at the moment are fairly common ones. Most of them are actually used um, by you know quite a lot of add-ons. Um, it's just that this is a fresh install, so um, you've, you, it's installing sort of more than possibly usual. And here we go. That's um, that's one that's not usually used. That was a nice channel one. Uh, OK, click back, and you'll notice things will start updating in the bottom corner. So click on the two dots, and now we can start installing all the other things. So um, we need to install iStream Common.
end we need the custom windows and dialogues Um, we might as well get the extra UK channels. Yeah, we might as well have the theme as well. I know it's a bit of a pain installing all these things manually, but unfortunately, like I say, if you use the iStream installer, which is a one-click option, you are more than likely going to end up with lots of problems. So um, this is the, the safest way of doing it. Okay, and I think we're almost there. I think that's about it. Let's come out of there. And one last thing we're going to do is let's have a look at the um, system add-ons and iStream add-ons repository. We just make sure that everything's installed. So. We can see here there's things that aren't installed yet, so let's install those. There we go. So that's all installed. And we just check the Zunity talk repository. Services. Um, I don't really need the Italian or Indian, so that's fine. So we're all good there. And one final thing I would do is do a force refresh on the iStream repository. So bring up your context menu and click on force refresh and then go in there and it should repopulate and that will just check to see if there's any any new things going on um, and we can also click on check for updates as well just to play it safe so now we can come out there and if we go to our programs we can do the crash fix So that's now done that. Now that's been done, we need to head into our system and go down to add-ons. And in there, we will go to get add-ons and a Zunity talk repository. And we want the Zunity maintenance add-on. And in here, we find that there's actually a, uh, a fix, a Kodi fix for iStream. So you come out there, go into Zunity maintenance, you can click OK to get past all of these and then in fixes at the top there we've got iStream Cody fix so click on that that then fix your iStream so let's head on over to iStream and see um, whether or not that has physically fixed it add-ons down to iStream and it's got a script error. Um, you can see there actually there's 1.0.0.1, so it's reverted it back to an old version. Um, so what we need to do, go into our add-on section and go to the iStreams repo. Uh, actual fact, yeah, we can go there, go back to available updates, and we can update it there. It says uh, iStream needs an update. You could have gone in the other way. Um, but you can also do it this way via the available updates section and you can see there down at the bottom it says Zunity TV common is being updated so that's good and there should be some others so yep 
there we will update in nicely and I think the final one should be ice stream there we go and um, right I suppose uh, let's have a little look and see if that's done it so ice stream you can see there we're on uh, 1.0.0.14 Go into iStream and then you've got your uh, disclaimer where you need to uh, sign your life away and um, get some uh, sort of pop up ad type things going on. And let's just uh, give it a quick go and um, just test it is working. We just try the movies section, for example. And uh, we do most popular. I mean what I do like with iStream is um, you know it's really good for the eye candy so this for example is really nice where it brings up um, actual information of what it's doing rather than just a, sort of like a spinning wheel um, that's good um, but it does install so many dependencies um, and like I've, uh, I think I've said before it does run as a um, service in the background so it can cause issues uh, which is why personally I find something like Genesis uh, a better add-on but um, you know everyone to their own and uh, so we can see there that all seems to be working and what I just quickly do is I will um, I'll show you the Kodi folder just so that you can see how many dependencies um, are installed when you install iStream so normally you know like I say there's, there's sort of one folder for, for an add-on then you just get a possibly a handful of generic dependencies but you can see here all these ones that relate to ice channel um, are extra services that iStream requires so they're all iStream related um, extras and this is you know quite a basic install um, I, I think the last one I checked around a friend's house they had something like 60 60 something folders relating to iStream so it is a monster and if something goes wrong it's it's uh, it's a bit of a nightmare to uninstall especially if you're a novice because uh, it all has to be done manually or um, or the simple way